Top Cold Weather Sleeping Bags in 2022 Sleeping in the cold carries with it some pretty big risks. The best case scenario is that a below average internal body temperature compromises your immune system during the night. This results in the classic got cold, caught a cold situation that leaves you sniffly the next day. But the worst case scenario of sleeping in the cold is simple. You catch hyperthermia in your sleep and die. Now, we're not trying to be hyperbolic here. And if it sounds like we're trying to scare you, well, it, we are. But being alert to the danger does not mean being anxious. Hypothermia does not happen randomly. It is a situation you can prevent with the right cold weather sleeping bag. Today, we're gonna go over five cold weather sleeping bags that might just save your life, judging them based on their mobility, their comfort, and of course, their warmth. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new content. This video is presented by Outdoor Obsessed. Number one, Teton Sports Celsius. The Teton Sports Celsius is a mummy style sleeping bag. You'll see quite a few of these on here as it is critical you keep your head warm during the night. Remember, these are not normal camping sleeping bags. These are sleeping bags meant to keep you alive in the cold. A mummy style sleeping bag comes over your head, leaving a hole for your face so you can breathe. Now this will sound horribly uncomfortable to some, but like a dream to others, as human beings generally enjoy the feeling of being wrapped up completely. Even if it's not your favorite thing, this particular sleeping bag works to keep you comfortable with padding on the backside that can be maneuvered and reconfigured based on your tastes. This adjustable padding does more than that though. Besides keeping you comfortable even on the ground, it also prevents you from rolling over in your sleep. This keeps you from rolling onto your face or moving around on the uneven ground and waking yourself up. The inner lining has two layers of insulation to it. That might seem redundant, but while just one layer keeps your body heat in the sleeping bag, the second layer rubs against the first layer, creating friction that generates even more heat. All these varied features make the Teton Sport Celsius the gold standard for cold weather sleeping bags. Number two, Marmot Ironwood 30 Degree. There are two obstacles that share a lot of overlap in dealing with the cold outdoors. The first is moisture and the second is uneven ground. Moisture is unavoidable, whether it comes from moisture in the ground itself, humidity in the air, or dew settling upon you as morning comes. The problem with moisture is that it has a bad habit of sapping the heat from anything it touches. That makes the Marmot Ironwood sleeping bags waterproofing critical to staying warm, even when the environment or climate seems determined to make you cold. Everyone knows that uneven ground is a problem, but few people understand how much of an issue it can be. It is simply not possible to sleep on a bed of rocks. Never mind the fact that you can't sleep safely if you have to worry about bugs crawling onto you while you're asleep. That is why the Marmot Ironwood comes with two hang loops that let you turn it into a hammock. By suspending yourself between two trees, you can avoid anything that might be crawling on the ground, including ants, ticks, and snakes. These things combine with the mummy style and insulation of the sleeping bag to create a product that can deal with temperatures as low as 30 degrees Fahrenheit, just below freezing. Number three, his a nice zero degree sleeping bag. The word cozy gets thrown around a lot in the marketing of sleeping bags, but it's a bit harder to make a cold weather sleeping bag cozy. But that is what makes the his a nice zero degree sleeping bag stand out. It goes the extra mile to provide comfort alongside survivability. How does it do that? Let's start with the three layers of protection it gives you against the cold. The first two, as before, are layers of insulation that both keep your heat in and generate warmth through friction. The third layer is a flannel material that also generates warmth, this time by rubbing against your skin. While that might sound uncomfortable, flannel is known for its softness. That combines with the fact that between the insulation and the flannel is a layer of padding. This padding does not affect the temperature, but it helps keep the flannel from bunching up. That means it is responsive to your movements, never moving too much against you. All of this together makes a cold weather sleeping bag that can keep you warm in temperatures as low as zero degrees Fahrenheit. Lots of sleeping bags can't handle anything less than freezing temperatures, so you know this has your back when it can handle temperatures that bad. Number four, Red Camp Cotton Flannel Sleeping Bag. Camping with friends and family members tends to be a bit of an adventure in a lot of ways. The obvious one is the adventure itself, but once you settle down for the night, you'll oftentimes find that the logistics of how to sleep next to each other comfortably is its own situation. 
The Red Camp cotton flannel sleeping bag is built to help solve the problem. It is reversible and combinable, meaning that you can bundle yourself up in it or combine it with another sleeping bag for sleeping with your significant other. Obviously, this can be expanded as well. If it's cold out and you have children, or even if you have friends that don't mind being physically close to you, you can multiply your warmth by combining your sleeping bag with theirs. This is far from the Red Camp's only standout feature. Its outer lining is tear resistant and snag proof due to its tight stitching, and the inside lining of the bag has its own personal pockets for putting anything Thing you might need to keep close by during the night, whether that's a phone, a knife, or a noisemaker to scare off animals. Just be aware that this sleeping bag is rated for temperatures near freezing, but not below freezing. Number five, hike and bike Yolis sleeping bag. When we're talking about survival needs, we always need to include a product that sacrifices all comfort for keeping you alive. While the hike and bike Yolis sleeping bag is not without padding or softness, it is clear from touching it that it's not the luxury cruise liner of sleeping bags. This is a sleeping bag meant to keep you alive even in the depths of winter. The protection starts with its hydrophobic outer layer, keeping water from getting into the bag as well as preventing it from absorbing water. A waterlogged sleeping bag will freeze you even if it's heavily lined with insulation, so this is critical to enduring bad weather. Two layers of insulation is, as you might have noticed, normal for sleeping bags like this. What the hike and bike brings to the table is that the inner layer of insulation is adjustable. That means not only can you move it around for the comfort of extra padding, but you can also distribute or focus the warmth it provides as you see fit. This feature is aided by the size of the sleeping bag. It can fit a person up to six feet, six inches tall, meaning that anyone shorter than that will have extra material to spare. Oftentimes, a person below six feet and two inches of height will have extra material to support their neck if they want to ensure a good posture or enough material to wrap their hands in warmth. However you use the hike and bike, it is sure to keep you warm in most environments. Just be ready to pay a higher price for it and don't go in expecting it to be perfectly comfortable. When you get tired in the cold, it usually feels like getting sleepy. This is the feeling of the chemical reactions of the body slowing down. Hiking, backpacking, or doing any kind of traveling in the cold is dangerous because going to sleep in that state can definitely hurt you. These sleeping bags exist because sleeping in the cold is not a matter of fighting discomfort with comfort. Comfort is important, but keeping yourself warm is critical. Never forget that you are in danger when you are sleeping in the cold. It's not an exaggeration to say that if you do not respect the cold, then it could end up being the last mistake you ever make.